Hello everyone and welcome back to Sonic Generations. Now before we get started, uh, two things that I should probably say. Uh, first of all, um, unfortunately we are recording this on a Sunday, we were kind of uh, prioritizing getting it done, so that's why D-pad is not here in this episode. Uh, second of all, um, as of this moment, my kitchen is undergoing some renovations, and there I go. Uh, no, my kitchen <laughs> is undergoing Good some job. renovations, which my cat does not agree with, so my cat is currently in my room. Um, so if you like hear any aggressive licking noises, or scratching noises, um, or meowing, uh, that is Sarah. She's currently licking Hi, herself. Sarah. Yeah. This is like probably going to be one of the most unnecessary housekeeping. Uh, I don't even think we can consider it housekeeping. Probably going to be like one of the most unnecessary disclaimers because, let's be real, I've got like a rather silent cat. Like, I, I, could, I could walk up to her, right? And mm -hmm. offer her my hand and she, she'll just continue to lick herself. Anyway. Um, I'm pretty sure there's something more interesting going on. We are currently at Planet Wisp, one of the favorite stages from Sonic Colors and one of the least favorite stages of Sonic Generations. I'm pretty it should sure have been Aquarium Park. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind it being Planet Wisp, but thing is, I, well, at this point I have played Sonic uh, Colors, but when I played this game for the first time, and the second time, and the fourth time, let me just say it like this. The only time I played Sonic uh, Colors was the remake, which, or remake, remaster, call it whatever you want, um, I'm pretty sure you've got another word for it that starts with re, uh, ha, 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 ha. no, um, <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've, never, I've never played the, uh, Reunion. Re rebirth reunion. Yeah, let's keep it at that. Although rebirth, considering the reputation of the um, <laughs> of the remaster, it might as well have been called unbirth. Mm. It was yeah. not a good remaster. I and mean, it's a, I mean, it's a part, and it's also a part two. I think. Yeah, it's a part two. Yeah. When I think there's gonna be like. Three or four parts. I'm not entirely sure. Next part, yeah. Next part is is essentially disc is basically the rest of disc two and all of disc three. Wait, hold up. Was Sonic Colors on multiple discs? Oh no, we're talking oh, I Final thought, Fantasy. I, okay, yeah. Um, I, I, my mind went to Final Fantasy. Mega, what were you talking about? I was talking Final Fantasy as well. Okay, good. Okay, good. But yeah, well, yeah. Um, you know, remake I... is essentially the the Midgar stuff. Rebirth is essentially up to Ancient City, so the end of Disc One, and Part Three will be all of Disc Two, Wu Tai, and all of Disc Three. All right. Oh. I still have or something new Fantasy if they want to do something like that. What? I still haven't played Final Fantasy Seven, so like that's gonna be. Very interesting when I do at one point choose to get to it. A part of me does wonder if they're gonna like do any tie in with uh, what's its name? Uh, Crisis Core. Ever Crisis? Ever Crisis? No, uh, Crisis Core. That's the um, I mean, I mean, Zach is I haven't I haven't played Rebirth myself, but I do know that Zach is a big, very big, important role in Rebirth. All right. Yeah. Well, that's. Um, I'd explain, but I don't know if 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 I'm cool, if it's okay with you guys too. Well, I mean, at this point, we're talking about like a very serious game about, like, it's Sonic Generations. There's nothing serious about it. Why do they like keep trying to come with like a very convoluted plot when it's just like, I am Sonic. I run fast. The thing so that's am I. Like a... So. Let's, um, let's take a okay. Let's keep the Final Fantasy talk for when we actually get to Final Fantasy. 
Yeah. The thing that Sonic you really know, likes doing for some for whatever reason is trying to like reinvent the wheel. And when I mean reinvent the wheel, I mean like um, take concepts, take entirely new concepts, and just make it like the most like ambitious new title. When all that really does it, all they should be doing is just making a good game. I mean, Frontiers is is a good game. Thank God, and, but and people thank... are ex people can't wait for the Shadow stuff in Sonic X Shadow Generations. Can I be honest about Which... something? Can I be honest about something? And I know this is what? gonna be like a very hot take. I fucking dreaded Sonic Frontiers. I did not like basically anything about that game. Okay. It I was bored stiff from it. And like, no one gives a shit about Charmy because it's Charmy. Yeah. He didn't even get it. Hey, Sonic, thanks for saving me, cutscene. <laughs> Funnily enough, a lot of people really like Charmy. Which, Charmy you know, got, is fine. Charmy got Mike wazowski by the story. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of, yeah, that, yeah, he did. Well, okay, here we go. Yes, I did know this was going to come afterwards, but it's funny that we just get a cut scene right beforehand. And he doesn't say shit because Edgy cut it out. <laughs> what? How dare Wait, you accuse really? me of such a thing? Wait, did you really? No. That would imply that I put effort in this playthrough. He, that I've edited totally... this. He says totally the did. guy who blurs out. Don't you dare say her name. <laughs> I don't care. Anyway, whenever I get to Silver in the like hub world, I always just Dreams stand still for, for a few seconds. I love Dreams of an Absolution. I, I love the I love the mix. I I love I love the mix that's in the game. Yeah, like. If like not you, not the normal one, the um uh But anyway, um here's the Sonic and Silver. LB versus JS. LB versus JS remix. Alright. Anyway, right. um here's the Sonic and Silver boss fight done right. You take away his ability to grab you, and just make it turn into a from... hallway. Yeah, I mean it's kind of it's kind <laughs> of interesting how you can take a very boring concept and still make it better than Sonic 06. <laughs> I'll be straight honest. It's weird that we randomly just fight Silver for no apparent reason. Well, it's because he's a. I guess it's because a rival character. I mean, when you take Metal Sonic and Shadow into consideration, Metal like, is Metal is because he's still Eggman's creation. He obeys Eggman, and Shadow was and manipulated what, by uh, Eggman. Silver, yeah, was yeah, but Shadow we can Nephis. also mark as Shadow wanting to just fight Sonic just for the heck of it. Well, Silver got. <clears throat> Silver got manipulated by uh, Mephilus, like uh, Edgy said. Yeah, but yeah, but unlike but unlike Shadow, Silver respect. Silver is essentially the trunks in the Sonic is Goku, Vegeta is Shadow relationship. So I guess they could just go. This is Silver testing Sonic. I wish that we had gotten cutscenes for these fights. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, honestly, I'm. I am glad that they like made effort of, you know, putting like actually decent um, character boss fights. Like personally, like yeah, I get that we, in the context of the game, have no reason for uh, fighting Silver. If if it was like a case where you jumped into time portal, to the to the time when. You did fought Silver, like, maybe that would have made uh, more sense. But, uh, like, when you think about it, it makes sense why Metal Sonic is the rival for the classic era. 
it makes sense why Shadow is the rifle for the like mm -hmm. Dreamcast slash GameCube era. Mm -hmm. Who would have been the rifle otherwise for the modern, except it's not modern anymore, but whatever, I'm still gonna call it modern anyway. Who else could have been the rifle? Oh no, I'm not saying that Silver shouldn't have been chosen. I'm just saying I wish they had given us um, story beats. Like, they should have given us context. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, maybe uh, maybe Sonic X Shadow Generations I will that. fix that. I yeah. I, I, I think the only work they're going to more put on to is the Shadow story, which, if from the, all the stuff we've seen, is fucking cooking. I hope... I... I can't wait to see that. Because, I mean, it's like... We have Metal Overlord. We're we're having the second coming of Mephilus. Yeah, and also and we're going to and we're going to see a little girl get shot again. Man, I cannot <laughs> wait to see Maria get shot. Just as a disclaimer, <laughs> like, that we was, get to that see was... her shot two Hardly. different times this year because we also have have Sonic Three. <laughs> Just, for legal reasons, just as that's a, a joke. Disclaimer, that's, that's yeah, a for joke. legal reasons, that's a but, joke. For but, legal reasons, that's a joke. But apparently, that's a common joke in his Sonic fandom right now. Did you see that it's... clip of the Sonic Symphony where the entire crowd started cheering the moment Maria got shot on the screen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jesus fucking <laughs> Christ. Jesus fucking Son Christ, people. Sonic fans be, be, uh, cook, be, uh, oh god, what? Never mind. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, like, let's be real, I'm not calling out anybody, but there's a lot of, like, fucked up stuff going on in the fandom. Yeah. Yeah. One thing I also did actually want to make, uh, want to point out during the silver boss fight, it's, it's weird that we get that on, out of the three rival battles, just Shadow, just Shadow has new, um... Just Shadow has new assets. Really? Did they? I mean, Silver Silver is fought in Crisis City, and Metal is fought in in um, Chemical Plant. We huh. do not go to the Ark in this game. Well, no, but hmm. I mean, I genuinely thought that um, Sonic would fight uh, Metal Sonic in like Starter Speedway. You know, no. Yeah, I uh, really kind. Of... Oh. Like I'm talking like um in like um wait there's there is no uh, CD representation in this game so like no. that doesn't well, really make any sense. There, no, there, not, is, no. there is. It's called Metal Sonic. I mean like in terms of stages. Yeah. No. no. Um uh, I do believe there is like uh three set, uh, soundtracks you can collect. Mm. Yeah. But I also believe that this was like before they um, before they came out with uh, Sonic 4 Episode 2, and hence before they came out with the Sonic CD remaster, which regretfully you cannot buy anymore because Sega wants yeah. you to buy Sonic Origins instead. Which, now that I've played it, it's alright, but I feel like Sega went into like a lot of hassle just to like sell a, a collection of old games. Anyway, we I mean, just we just that. shot yeah. a music note at a crocodile. That's that's literally a lot of collections. Fine, a computer well, room. Yeah. I mean, look at the look at the fact that we have the um, Capcom fighting collections. Well, yeah, but did they sell them before? Mm, True. Aside aside from like MVC one and two, no. Because that's a thing. Yeah. The, the Sonic classics you could purchase them before but then they got delisted because well you should buy uh, sonic origins and i kind of feel like they should have gone all capcom on us and just allow you to purchase the original title next to the next to the remake yeah mm. I mean, at le I mean, granted though, at least at least they get into pull a rock star. Oh um, God! <laughs> you want to? And at least 
Sonic uh, Sonic Origins was at least in a decent was a, was in a good quality. Yeah. I've seen a bunch of YouTube thumbnails I would like to prove you different. But Better from... than the GTA ones, Edgy. <laughs> yeah, well to be fair, they they didn't like fuck up the graphical quality. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, yeah. like they still were better quality than than those. Yeah. yeah, from what I understand, when it comes to glitches, it was still it was still pretty bad. Also, don't remind me of like the definitive edition because I may or may not actually have given the trilogy to you my brother her. as a birthday you caught her present. Hmm. You caught her earlier. Why did it not count? Because this game is janky as fuck. Are you gonna do the flicky one? No. I've already okay. got all three keys. Okay. I'm just looking for the key. There's the key. There it is. Okay, wait. If we're gonna fight the time eater. This what? The, oh, it's right, a, right, right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, the, it's the egg yeah, dragon. And, and, yeah, egg dragon, egg dragon. I which, forgot about that. Which, for some reason, they succeeded into making feel longer than it did on Unleashed. At the same time, that might be my um, oh, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so um, I've apparently already counted it. Um, take a shot every time Doctor Eggman says, "Time for a change of pace." I would rather take a I'd shot rather not, I'm... every time Eggman no. says time for a change no. of pace. No. No, I was not prepared for this. <laughs> I, I will was. be honest, I, I actually love this rendition of Egg Dragoon's well, theme. Well, okay, you were, but you, n this was not brought to me or Yu's attention at all, so we don't have shots with us. Fuck. Yeah. So you're the only one participating. Well, I've, I've got iced tea. I don't really have yeah. booze on hand, but hey, yeah. uh, if you're playing along at home, booze. that's uh, that's two shots right there. All right, Where you're, the already, first, you're already first feeling one it. Go, go. Where did the first one go, though? It goes fast. I only heard once. Oh wow! It was like yeah, really like early I said, I love this rendition. I think this rendition of Egg Dragoon is much better in than the original. I still, I still prefer the original, but you know, I. Oh I no! Do, in in I terms of gameplay, the original one is better. In terms of music, the generations is better. I can't believe I like would... this is. I can't I believe would... this is the only like unleashed representation in this game. Rooftop run. Rooftop run. Well, that was severely different, and. I'm going to disagree on the music part. I still I feel like the original version from Unleashed is better. Like that's mm. that's the one that I've got on my playlist. I don't I think that the only um, generation song I've got in my playlist is the um, the 3DS version of Back to Back, because for whatever reason the Sonic Rush soundtrack is not available anymore on music streaming platforms. Uh, hmm. Which, you know, might be good. You know, maybe some, like, self-proclaimed karaoke masters are constantly butchering the Sonic Rush soundtrack. Like, I couldn't even sing along if I wanted to. Like, all I know is back-to-back, something-something, back-to-back, something-something, back-to-back, back-to-back. I mean, it's, it's the DS, so, like, the sound is just naturally gonna be very, like, bit-crushed to fuck. <laughs> well, even... There's the even... TV versions. Even the even the raw version, I'm having trouble with following. Um, and on the DS, I wouldn't say the problem is audio quality. I would rather say audio mixing, because you know people who played Sonic Rush, they can confirm that there was kind of a bit of a uh, problem where if you use a trick system, which you kind of had to, um, your music was disrupted by a lot of uh, well shouting. Yeah. Well, not shouting, cheering. I would replicate it, but as I've mentioned before, I've got a slightly frustrated cat in my in my room. 
And you're not gonna add it on to the video, are you? No. Good. I've I've already put all my effort in editing. That's one thing that annoys me so much about Johnny's review for Sonic Rush that he actually has like a like a um five like a fifteen second bit of just playing through both the the trick stuff for both Sonic and Blaze. Right. Mm. It is what it is. True. Also, I could swear there was going to, there's going to be like a cut because I um, I spent a lot of a long time just going in circles. <laughs> I mean, uh, to be fair, going in, going in circles might as well be the um, might as well be the tab line, the tagline for the entire Sonic series. Sonic goes goes around in circles faster than NASCAR does. <laughs> yeah, at least Sonic has full music. At least NASCAR has... <laughs> And it's more entertaining to watch Sonic run around in a circle than NASCAR. Than a car. I know, I know yeah. some NASCAR aficionados would disagree with that. <laughs> I know some people who play a lot of Daytona USA would disagree with you on that. Okay, that's Daytona USA. That's not NASCAR, though. Well, it's and NASCAR based. Guy. But it's not inherently like NASCAR. You're not turning one. like left the entire time. Well, it, it depends on the track. I do like the fact that they do recreate the finish of the boss fight oh, from yeah. Unleashed. Right? Which is just Eggman plummeting to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Well, at least that was it at the like core of the earth. This is just another one of Eggman's facilities. Yeah. Yeah. In space. Again. The one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. SPACE! Okay. Okay, so what's the- Okay, so what's the better rendition of we've constantly fought this guy? Um, it's like it's our job or something from this? Or how many times have you beaten this guy anyway from Crash 4? Ooh, I think I think they're both I think they're both really good. I can't really have a preference. I'd, I'd say that I'd say <laughs> that Crash Four is my um. Honestly, yeah, is, is your pick is because of the pick. three? Wow, really? Huh? Seems like no. Fun. It's Could... just it's just because I feel like the delivery and the script in general is um is better. Like they had the better wording for it. Here it just kind also, of feels ah, like it's um. Also, be it's also because one of the characters is um, of uh, who says that is is played by Richard Horvitz, who is just yeah. a ma who's just an absolute master VA in it. In um, he definitely is in like anything, like anything that he's in. It's I mean, every, the, the yeah. whole team of Crash Crashes are good VAs. Like, okay, to be fair, not even like, not even the voice actors. Just the entirety of Crash Four is filled. And I mean, fail to the brim with production values. It's just a shame that the game suffers from a little thing called, oh fuck, we are selling this for 40 bucks, or not 40 bucks, we are selling this 60. for 60 bucks at, um, at launch. We need to give people the feeling that they're getting their money's worth. Yeah. And then put a lot of bloat everywhere. Yeah. I'm, uh, tell uh, I'm, t I'm telling you, if Crash Bandicoot 4. If you were able to get like an upgrade that was like a Sonic Adventure style um, Chaos Emerald radar, you know, or or better yet, just the the whole box tally at the end of the stage, how about you put one at checkpoints as well? I feel like that. No, and no. no. I honestly, I think I honestly, I a game that that would rather I would rather see with a um. With a son with a emerald hunting radar dar type thing would be Mario Sunshine with the blue coins. Right. Yeah, that that that's way more better than the fucking hidden gems in Crash Four. Well, okay, okay, yeah. I, I wouldn't say that Mario Sunshine needed that. I would have said that Mario Sunshine needs like a proper way to tally your coins. You know, see which ones you've got, or at a Utopia. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Yeah. 
Nah. Yeah. yeah. No. I, I, yeah. 